marks all over here. Yeah? There's another one. What depth? 30 feet. It's good to know. All right, so in this video, we're gonna teach you guys how to catch lake trout. We have a great opportunity here in Connecticut. The DEP just stocked 490 lake trout in five different lakes. Uh, I'll show you which different lakes you could target them at some point in this video. They were stocked about a week and a half ago, and these fish, they learn fast. They're already behaving like lake trout. We're already getting them in about 25 feet. We came out yesterday. We were using live bait, so they already know, you know how to feed on the natural forage. So we're drop shotting our wives, 25 to 30 feet, looking for a big one. So this is your basic drop shot rig. You have a size two hook, nose hook and our wife, eight pound fluorocarbon leader and an eighth ounce weight at the bottom there. And I like this rig because you can control where your bait is the whole time. Your bait's in the strike zone, but it's not like laying on the bottom. It's a little suspended and you can twitch it a little bit to tease them. So even if your our wives die, this bait and this setup will work. And this is what I use for bass on candlewood in the late fall. And it's a really effective way to get them. Another thing that you guys can do is get them on artificial. Little tube like that, eighth ounce jig head, lightweight, slow fall, and you're gonna get reaction strikes with this. So same deal. We're using eight pound fluorocarbon line, using a drop shot rig, and also artificial. He got him on a tube. Awesome. <laughs> 25. Yeah, 25. Look at that. Crazy cool fish. Think we'll get another one? There he is. There he goes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Laker. Got that in there. Head shakes. All right, I'm gonna put some pressure on him right here. Right here. We got 20, 25 and a quarter. Oh, beautiful fish. Drop shotting an owl live. Follow the tips and hopefully you can get some Lakers like this. What were you using on that smallmouth? Nice little drop shot out alive. 10 feet deep, right on bottom. Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I put my rod down and he smoked it. Yeah, I put my rod, I was messing with my camera and he freaking hammered it. It feels like a nice one. Yeah, it feels like a really nice one. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's, that's almost 28. See that? Nice fat boy. 28, dude. That's a new, new catcher and release state record right there. As far as I'm concerned. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. Get a release. Looks like a storm coming. 
The storm was rolling in, so we ended up heading home a little early. It's not hard to find out where I'm fishing, so I just want to take a second to show you guys how I find some of these spots. So if you go onto the DEP website, they have a stocking map that literally gives you the GPS coordinates. Uh, so where do they stock those lake trout? Well, if you go, you have different options here. It shows you the streams that they stock, the lakes, the ponds, within a day, within a week. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on lakes and ponds stocked within the past month. Uh, here goes the lakes that they stocked with Lakers. Some of them are actually ponds. So Bigelow, Coventry, Squance, Tyler, and there was one more that actually isn't here, Winchester, uh, which should be interesting through the ice. All right, so I think I'm gonna fill this out to see if that lake trout was actually the catch and release state record. If you guys wanna see how this plays out, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on any updates. Thanks for watching, you guys.